Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Good morning. I want to welcome Shannon Miller and Danny Strumeyer to the Founder Beebe Show as I talk to people all across the nation. Ladies, I feel so honored that you're here. I want my audience to know that Shannon Miller, she's one of the most decorated U.S. Olympian gymnasts in history, and she's a member of the same Magnificent Seven. And Danny Strumeyer, I think she's going to become all of our hero after this interview. So thank you, ladies. Welcome to the Founder Beebe Show. Thank you. Thank you. Shannon, as I said, you're just uh, a decorated gymnast, uh, a performer in a sense, because that's what a gymnast has to do. But now you're talking about something a little bit personal, but you want it to be public. Could you tell me about a little bit about why you believe Danny is a hero? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I never imagined I would uh, be talking about my ovaries, <laughs> not as a gymnast, <laughs> but um, Danny and I share something very important in common. We are both survivors of the same rare form of ovarian cancer. And I got to meet Danny in uh, 2018 at a Cycle for Survival event in New York City. Um, I had been, been involved with Cycle for Survival since 2013, but to meet Danny, it was incredible. Not only was she another survivor, but um, having that same form of cancer, that immediate bonding, the immediate shared experiences, and just someone that, that did understand what you go through on a daily basis. Um, it really was incredible and, and gives you that feeling that you are not alone. I would like to ask Danny, Danny, could you just share a little bit of your story? I know it's, it's, it's a public arena, but you may change lives as you share this story today. Sure, of course. I was diagnosed with the same form of ovarian cancer in 2017 when I was 24 years old. And for me, it really, um, of course, a cancer diagnosis really comes unexpected to anybody. But I was 24 years old, um, just beginning my career in New York City. Um, so it really, it was completely unexpected. And um, I started my Cycle for Survival team shortly after I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer as a point in the future that I could really look forward to that meant that I had made it through my treatment and that I was strong enough to participate. And I was lucky enough to meet Shannon the day of my first cycle for survival ride. And um, I had never met anybody before who was diagnosed with the same form of cancer that I had. And to me, to meet somebody who really just got it that I knew could relate to me on that most intimate level um, just meant so much. And to me, that's what Cycle for Survival is really all about, that community and that ability to connect with people who really do get it in with the same shared goals of raising money for rare cancer research. Well, your story means a lot that you're sharing it to my 89.9% baby boomer women because if they have not been introduced to this disease for their own personal uh, encounter, I'm sure their their daughters or their, their nieces or that kind of uh, relation has. I would like to ask you, Shannon, tell me about how are we, how are you getting money to support this cancer venture? Well, at first I just want to say that Danny is such a hero um, to so many, and that's really what Cycle for Survival is all about. It is about you know sharing that heroism, sharing that empowerment and that hope. Um, Cycle for Survival is the movement to beat rare cancers. And when we talk about rare cancers, we're talking about, yes, ovarian like Danny and I had, but also pancreatic, brain, stomach, um, pediatric cancer. So all children's cancers are considered rare cancers. And yet, although um, almost 50% of cancer patients are fighting a rare form of the disease, the funding for research is lacking. So Cycle for Survival has stepped in and 100% of the funds raised through these events, through donations, goes directly to that cancer research for rare cancers at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. So it's, it is an incredible movement. Um, anyone can get involved with this. is an indoor stationary cycling event. So when we talk about that, we talk about, you know, you can pedal hard or, or hardly pedal. And if you want more information, you can always go to cycleforsurvival.org to get involved, join a team, start a team, donate. Um, we are so excited that Dallas has actually been involved for seven years now. So you guys keep up the great work. 
I want to thank you. And you guys can participate. Uh, the focus is going to be on January, February, and March. And 100% of all funds raised by Cycle for Survival go to eradicating this. Ladies, you guys are my heroes today. I want to thank you so much. Shannon, once again, give me that website that my audience can go to because we want them to participate. Absolutely. Please do. Cycleforsurvival.org. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <laughs>